Welcome back. So in this video, we're going to go through the second and third step in our flowchart. Again, open up your flowchart and make sure that you do follow that because I follow it through the entire and every single one of the exercises in this DVD. Okay, so the second step is selecting the work side and the third one is selecting the origin. So we're going to be going over both of these in this video. We've already opened up our part, set it up in our chuck jaw and then selected the machine type in our previous session. So this one, we're going to select the work side as well as selecting the origin. And you can find both of those in the under the plane manager. OK, and that's why I want to do them both at the same time. Another way you can get to the plane manager is if you come over here under Mastercam X8 and go to plane manager. OK, let's go ahead and click on plane manager over here and the plane manager dialog box will appear. Now, because we've selected a lathe default machine group, it will automatically create a lathe Z equal world Z uh, for your plane for you, as well as a plus D and plus Z. You won't be able to delete this one because it's a default one created for you. But this one you can actually, this one is created from the top actually, and you can delete it. So go ahead and select it and just hit the delete button to delete it. Now the rest are automatically created, whether you have a mill or a lathe, but these are default created for the mill. So you don't really don't need those. Uh, you can keep them in here if you like. If you want to delete them, just go ahead and select each of those. The one master cam top, front, back bottom right and left and you can delete them hitting the delete key you can actually copy any of these so if you like one of them and you want to copy it to a different name and do different things to it you can do that by hitting the copy button okay if you hit, hit on the relative button you can copy all of those so relative master cam left side top master cam left side front so it will take one of them and it will create all, all the rest of the views for relative to this side okay that's why i have master cam left side selected and you'll see everything is relative to the left side so i have a six views relative to the left side i don't want to do that in this one so i'm going to cancel it out if you hit on geometry this will allow you to do, create your own plane and that's what we're going to do here so go ahead and select geometry and the new geometry plane dialog box will appear and this will help you define master cam plane master cam plane name so let's go ahead and call it lathe plane okay and this will help you define it. So if you want two lines only, you can select two lines. So you're able to select two lines, but we're not going to do that. So for the select for the plane, what we want to make sure is come over here on this surface right here. You can either click the circle or select the plane itself and it will place the new origin over here. OK, another way you can do it is selecting the origin and selecting this point over here is another method of doing it. Now, as you can see, Z is going this way. And D is kind of like the diameter of the part. Now, that's a better way for me to understand D. D really means depth. It doesn't mean, or distance, I'm sorry, not depth. But really, what I, when I look at D, I always remember what direction D goes into because I remember that the cylinder uh, part like that will have to have a diameter as well as a distance, right? Or uh, a uh, length. So what I remember is that, well, the diameter is the D. Uh, it's not quite correct, but that's a better way for me to understand the uh, depth or what the D means and what direction it goes. So when I remember that D is for uh, diameter, I remember that it has to go this way to make sure that it is oriented correctly. Now, as you can see, D is kind of going away from you. Now, that's OK. And the, the, but then the part will come from the side. The tool will come from the side. Now, most uh, most tool path will the tool will actually come from the top and machine. So we need to rotate D so it's straight up. OK, so D is kind of like the previous Z axis of the machine. OK, in the milling. So milling, you're going to know that, you know, that D, Z is going up and down. Uh, but this one, it's going to be going back and forth and D will have to be going up and down to rotate that. Come over here to about Z. So orientation option allows you to orientate D about Z. So if I want to take the D and rotate it all the way up, so that means I need to go 90 degrees from D up to be able to make sure that it's up. If you go negative 90, D will be pointing down. So make sure you go positive 90, type in 90 over here, and just click anywhere other than the about 90 box, and you will see that the D updates, now it is going up. And that's the direction we wanna set it up with. Now this is the correct method of doing it. Some other people like to do it differently, and that's okay, but this is the correct method and the best method to do it because you'll also be able to see your toolpath a little bit later on much better with this one as well, with this setup as well. So after you're done, go ahead and select OK. 
Now, as you can see over here, there's a little diamond shape with a check mark onto it. That diamond shape, if you come over here, this is your world coordinate system. And that's why it shows little three, that X, Y, and Z. And this is going to be your tool plane. And that's what this T stands for. Now, I want to take them from MasterCam top and I want to make sure to place them all on that lathe plane. To do just one of them, all you have to do is click on this one and it will bring world coordinate system to it. And if you click on this one, it will bring the tool to it. Now, to do them both at the same time, you would click on the equal sign. To delete both of them, you would click on this sign, reset your world coordinate system. Okay. Another way to select your origin is if you come over here and select this button right here, or you can actually type it in yourself if you know exactly where your origin is. But the best method is to select this arrow and then come over here and just select this origin right here, which we really already have selected. Go ahead and select OK. After you're done, you can select your uh, select or type in your comments if you want to have some comments under the plane. And after you're done with all of this, go ahead and select OK. And there you go. You select your you selected your origin being the right side of the part over here, as well as your uh, plane being Z and D, and you've selected them in the correct method. Now, the reason why we want to select the origin to be on the right side is because we're machining from the right to the depth of the part. If we've kept that uh, origin being in the back corner of it, which we actually were when we started our part, that origin was all the way to the back of the part, to the back and the center of the part. If we do that, that actually confuses MasterCam and it will start some, sometimes it will bring the tool in midway through the part and it will start machining because it thinks it needs to start machining from here. So placing the origin here helps you a little bit later and I'll show you where it helps you to identify where your origin is and where your tools must start. Uh, otherwise, when sometimes when you're programming, especially for those who like to kind of keep all the default options there for MasterCam, you will easily confuse MasterCam and when you start machining, you will get a lot of errors when you're trying to generate your toolpath because it keeps running your tool into the part instead of that and you have to actually change some parameters to make it work correct. This will allow you to change less parameters and still make it work good. Okay, so there you go. We've set up our part and we've just got finished setting up the uh, work side as well as the origin. Next up in our next uh, session, we're going to learn how to define the stock in MetroCam for SolidWorks lathe.